Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to do another dividend update. Now in this video, we're going to go over my dividends, obviously, and what's going on with the stock market, a little bit of what's going on with the stock market, and then kind of figure out what's happening uh, with my strategy. But anyway, before we actually begin that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you are new to this channel, my name is Dredd, and I post personal finance and dividend investing videos. And currently, I am still um, documenting my journey when paying off my student loans. So if you're interested in seeing how everything unfold, then definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and also like the videos and all those other things. Now with that out of the way, uh, let's get back to the video. So I don't want to waste any time. So let's go to the dashboard right here for TD Ameritrade, one of the biggest portfolios that I have. And as you can see, it's 3,265.37 uh, cents as of right now. Okay, and if we actually go to the balance history, uh, three month uh, calendar right here, uh, you'll see that from the very beginning of like around March or like towards the end of March or in February that what that was when the stock market actually started dipping or started plunging and then we I see the bottom of my portfolio at around 2200 in around uh, the, the middle of March okay and then from there a week afterwards it started uh, going back up and then going back down and then going back up and until we actually got to the point where right now it's it is where it is right now you know like around 3300 and and it's probably because like of all the stimulus packages that have been being injected into the market and as well as for the um for all the americans out there they're they're getting a, a lot of uh, help from the government and you know they're obviously it's not enough if you've been one of the recipients uh, because i was one of them as well i got my check of around 1200 dollars recently and yeah, it actually definitely definitely helped me a little bit because now I have enough money to save and you know just for uh, just for emergency purposes. Okay, I'm not gonna spend that money immediately uh, with the, my debts right now and my student loans. Basically, I'm just going to keep a steady projection for for my payments and you know not try to do any drastic or any sudden big um, uh, uh, extra payments. For that one i just want to keep it there in case something happens you know we don't know when this covid thing is actually going to end but anyway as you can see this is my account value right now and if we actually go to my dividends let's go to history uh, uh for the april then april 30 i have already um put it here uh for the first of april pci got me two dollars and 33 cents on april 15 stagged three dollars and 18 cents and then on the 15th of april as well, GNL got me $30.42. This is actually lower than what I had previously on January for GNL, which was around $40. And I obviously suspect it's because of a dividend cut and because of the economic uh, issues that we have right now, but that's totally okay. I'm not really worried too much about it right now because I'm more worried whether or not there is more coming in, you know? But anyway, for the uh, 16th of April, ordinary in dividend basically, but for O, sorry about that is one dollar and 97 cents as you can see here there's also like another part that says gnl qualified dividend for around um thirty dollars and 42 cents um i'm not sure what what's happening in here but i suspect it's because of the dividend reinvestment plan that i have um i inve i enrolled gnl in the drip so that's why it actually used the money immediately and then added it to my positions so that's what we have for td ameritrade and if we actually told everything on TD Ameritrade, I would have gotten $37.90 for this one. And that's pretty much it. All right, so here we are now on Weeble. As you can see, these are my positions right now. I have Good, Land, AT&T, NRZ, and then AGNC. That's like five right there. And so far, they're actually looking good. They're going back up. But it's they haven't exactly recovered yet because my account value is still $1,144.71. That's basically, I'm basically in paper loss. I have like $462 of loss, basically. I lost value, huh, unfortunately. But that's just how it is with what we have right now. And let's go over here with more. We're going to look at the dividends that we've gotten this uh, month. Time dividends. Uh, if you actually look at it, there's actually three: uh, AGNC, Good, and then Land. Now I'm not actually gonna include AT&T yet because it's on May 1st, so obviously it's not included. But we're only gonna focus on this three right here, which is AGNC, Good, and Land. So for the 9th of April with GNC, AGNC, I actually got two dollars and eight cents, and then for Good uh, on the 30th of uh, April, I got three dollars and twenty-five cents. 
the same thing on the April uh, 30th of April with land I got 40, 49 cents basically now if we told everything together that will be around five dollars and eighty cents which is totally not bad now if we start to calculate everything for like Weibo and see Ameritrade I'm here with my calculator 37.9 plus 5.82 that's around four three dollars and 72 cents for the month of april which is totally not bad but it's obviously disappointing because on the month of january i actually got like around 60 dollars which obviously was a better uh, res uh better result for this year so far but you know that's the best that we can actually um that's the best that we can hope for especially with what's happening right now and i'm not that complaining anyway because it's there's no point in complaining all we gotta do is really um, be smart with what, with our money right now. And for my strategy, I'll just keep on actually reinvesting my dividends towards uh, all of my stocks. Really, like I'm not really sure when this uh, pandemic is gonna end and what's gonna happen with the market because everything is gonna depend on the market as when it comes to the returns that I get for my stock portfolio. So yeah, um, we're just gonna go uh, see what happens. Basically, I'm gonna probably do a 50-50. All the dividends that I get uh, from now on, probably just like 50, I'm going to save. 50 of them is uh, going to reinvest again. But we'll see how everything goes, you know, and I hope that you're actually uh, staying safe out there and make sure that you manage and look at your finances correctly because um, if this um, issue is going to prolong, then it will highly, highly affect everyone, uh, especially you, okay? so. Yep, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you have any questions or any recommendations regarding this video or any of my other videos, uh, comment them down below. Uh, give me recommendations as well as to what I can do with my strategy, with my portfolio as well during this uh, pandemic. And now help me out. Uh, I'd definitely help you out as well with whatever I can. And also, I'm on Instagram at Daily Dread. Um, follow me there. Add me there. You know, you can chat there and give me ideas if you have any. Or if you just want to chat, then yeah, go ahead and chat. I'll be there and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell, like the video, share the video as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.